Playing trances Going all to different places Different planets Watch your own so you guys, everything that's supposed to go wrong is going wrong today. I don't understand. The weather is so gloomy. Like, when I mean gloomy, I can barely see. So, excuse my lighting if it's a bit gloomy. But that being said, welcome back to this video. So I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me questions on money, okay? Money and finances and all that good stuff. So I have this segment, Ask Nello, which I remember once every three months, I know. So this is an Ask Nello episode, but this one is focused on finances and money and all that good stuff, everything money, okay? But before I get into the questions, I want to quickly show you guys my package from Natural Girl Wig. Oh, I love this duffel bag. I actually will be going shopping with this bag. It's just such a cute bag to go shopping with. And you guys, like, look at the beautiful girl on it. Anyways, from Natural Girl Wig. I'm excited to try out this wig. That's the wig I'm wearing today. It comes with this cute card, notes from the team. And then um, this is a maintenance guide. So here it is, just so you know how to care for your wigs with some stunning ladies in here. I've been so excited to try this wig out. So this is the Kinky Goddess wig. And if you know me, you know that I am in love with kinky hair, okay? I just feel like they're easier, less stressful, and also, you know, they do me heat. I love kinky wigs, like I've been so in love with kinky wigs. And this one already looks gorgeous, okay? So this is the Kinky Goddess wig, and this is the closure. So it comes with this closure, you guys can see. And this is the wig. This is the hair, straight out of the box. Is this not my hair texture? Can you tell me the difference between this hair, this texture? And my hair like there's literally no difference this is my hair texture exactly so i'm just going to go ahead cut off this lace and put on this wig and that's another thing i like about natural girl wigs a lot of their wigs wear and go literally cut off lace wear and be going you guys this weather is really annoying me but it is what it is so this wig comes with adjustable strap so you get to adjust it according to the size of your head me i'm going to put it in the first one because i have flat or go so there's really nothing at the back. I always wear small when it comes to wigs. Nothing day there, just flat or go. <laughs> I really wanted to get it right. Trying to find some balance in my life. I never really put up a fight. And now I'm losing sleep. What if I lost touch? What if I'll never get it right? Guys, I am in love with this wig. See, I love kinky hair. And whenever I wear kinky, right, I like braiding the side so it gives it that natural vibe. Can you look at your girl? Like, <laughs> Can you guys see me? I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can see this beauty. And this lighting is not letting your girl shine today. The thing is painting me. Because look at all this fineness. Like, I've not even taken pictures. But anyways, I have a code with Natural Girl Wig. It's going to be on the screen. NGW Nello. It's going to give you 10% off this wig or any wig on their website. Okay? See, trust me. You need to grab one of those wigs. I see, see if, you're, if you're to have two or three wigs, right? I mean, I don't think anybody owns one wig. You should have one way and go, like the one I talked about in my last video. You should have a kinky wig. And the quality, the texture of this hair is top notch, 100%. Do check it out. Natural Girl Wigs, your plug, okay? And they ship everywhere in Nigeria and also in the US. So you can buy your wigs in Nigerian Naira from the same website or buy it in usd and also get it like asap dhl you guys already know okay so do check them out that being said let's get to answering these questions that you guys asked me on instagram okay so i put up this if you're following me on instagram you know this i put it up and then i got a few questions so we're going to be answering some of the questions that we got you guys already know the already know okay where should i even start hi nello i love your youtube channel how much do you make from youtube monthly see let me tell you creators youtube creators some months are amazing some months are not a youtube creator with my numbers i'm just going to generalize because yeah i'm just going to generalize <laughs> you can make anywhere from say 500 1000 i don't know up to maybe even 10k 
I have no idea. People make different amounts every single month. You can make 500 this month, make 2,000 next month, make 5,000 next month, make 7,000 next month. It just depends on if you have, you know, good videos, viral videos. These are basic prices. But trust me, if you have viral, viral, like real viral, viral content, you can make anywhere from even 10K and above. So it just all depends. But it can also be 500. <laughs> How do you draw the line between you live once and saving money? I always have a budget, right? Not like a planned budget, like I budget my life or anything really, but it's like there's money I don't touch, okay? AdSense money I don't touch. It's not my money. It's, it's, it's not my money. Like any money that comes from Google AdSense, it's not my money. That money is either savings or investment. It has nothing to do with me. I don't touch it. I don't spend it. I literally see it. See, let me tell people, I'm always broke. <laughs> I'm literally always broke. I can call my sister today and be like, I beg, send me 20k, please. I need 20,000 naira. I'm in the shop now. I knew I did not have 20k, but I still enter the shop because I know I have you and you will send it for me, okay? So I'm actually always broke because the money I allocate, like usually the money I spend is the payment I get in naira. And even that, I have plenty of problems that the money will solve. But for the most part, that's just how I make it easy for myself. So that you only live once part is all the naira. Like it's naira that I make. And any Naira that I get, I, I can take out from the Naira and do whatever I want. But any dollars I get, like AdSense money, sponsorship, anyone that comes in USD, that's not my money. So yeah, that's a good way to draw the line. So I'm actually always broke, okay? How do I get the spirit of saving? To be honest, it's just discipline. I don't even have that discipline, don't get me wrong. That's why it's like, eh, you know, bringing out dollars now to change to Naira, then it finishes like that. It's very painful. So that's what keeps me grounded. <laughs> The fact that it pains my heart. But I don't know how I got the spirit of saving. It's just how I am. How would you advise an emotional spender? Too happy, I buy. Too sad, I buy. My sister, I don't know. It has ever been me. Me, I spend when I want. I don't spend when I don't want. I don't know. I don't know how to advise you. Maybe have a card for your emotional spending and budget money and just be putting in that card, waiting for the day that you're unhappy to use it and buy something. And the day that you're happy to use it and buy something. That way you don't touch your main savings. I think that's just one thing that works for me. Separation. Separation is key for me or personally. I separate money. So any money in said account, I know, ah, I can squander this money anyhow I want and nothing will happen. And then, in fact, I even recently opened an account where I just transfer money to once in a while, right? Maybe once or twice a month. I don't have a card. I don't have internet banking. That money is just there. Just emergency money. Do you get? So you can do something like that and know that any money that you have left is for spending. What business do you think you can start with 50K? See, just sit down and train, learn how to cook. I know, maybe I know some people doing courses for like 50, 60, 65K, like caterers and or maybe how to bake or something. When it comes to actual businesses, I don't know. I'm sure there are options. If you guys know, please let the person know in the comments. But for me, go and learn a service because that way that money will last you a lifetime. There's no buy and sell involved. You're just going to use what you learn and keep making money from it. Do you invest? If yes, what investments do you advise a person to put money into? It depends. Though. Me, I invest in my husband's business and we also invest um, in properties. So those are my two major investments. My husband's business is selling cars. By the way, he buys cars and sells from the US. So sometimes I'll also buy a car, sell it and make profits. Um, it's still business, but for me, that's, it's, there's return in, in your investment, Sha. So you can buy a car of like, say, 3 million and end, and end up selling it for 4 million. You've already made 1M from that one sale, okay? But you have to wait like, let's just say, 3 to 4 months so to get this money back because it's to get to Nigeria first and then before someone will buy it. But point is, is a form of investment and properties. Apart from that, I really don't know a lot of other investments. I use some investment apps, like um, I have um, a stock app that I buy stocks with. Um, I'm not going to say the name right now. <laughs> but I have a stock app that I buy stocks with, right? And yeah, sometimes it will go up, sometimes it, it just fluctuates. But for me, buying stock, I don't, I'm not buying it like I want to sell it this year. That, like I'll keep buying, but these are money that I'll probably cash out in 10 years or whenever, Sha. So I don't really mind. It keeps going up and down. But yeah, those are the investments that I do. Oh, good question. Do you have other things you do apart from social media that fetches you money? And the answer is no. I don't have any other business per se, okay? Social media, influencing, that's my full-time job, being a YouTuber, all that good stuff. I have other ways I invest the money I make from social media. Do you get? So technically, they are still making me money, but for the most part, all the money I diversify come from my social media job. Yeah. How much does YouTube pay you? 
do they pay per subscribers or views let me even clarify this right youtube does not pay you per subscribers you can have 500,000 subscribers have a million subscribers and you're making less money than someone with 5,000 subscribers okay i think i have an old video that explains this but youtube pays you according to the ads that people watch when they watch your video if a million people watch your video and there's no adverts you're making no money okay and even if a million people watch your video some of them like i do not even play for them or anything you still make less money and say somebody with 10,000 subscribers people love them so much that they watch all their ads and engage that person will probably make more money than you so youtube will not pay you per subscriber subscription has nothing to do with how much we make it helps in the sense that the more people that subscribe to you, the more people that are more likely to watch your videos. Basically also the more people that are likely to watch adverts on said videos, okay? So that is where subscribers come into play. You need people to subscribe, turn on notification. Talking about subscribers, if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, this is the time. Please click that subscription button down below. It's totally free. Just click subscribe, bam, and you're subscribed. That's all it takes. And just click that bell icon by the side so that anytime I have a new video, you will get notified, okay? So that is the advantage of being a subscriber. Like for, for creators like me, they get notified, so they are more likely to watch your video and more likely to watch adverts inside the video. That way, we make money. Have you been able to build, oh, this is from Ify, my friend, if you're okay. Okay, have you been able to build a stable finance via YouTube at this point of your career? The answer is hell yes, a big, big fat yes. Like, where I am now in my YouTube journey, I did not dream about. You know when <laughs> you're dreaming? It's, it was like too big to even dream about, do you get? Like, the jobs I do now, the brands I work with, the money I make, the life I have, the joy I have, like, I did not see it coming. I didn't dream about it. And something about me is that I don't, I've said it before, I don't have goals, okay? If you ask me now, I don't have a goal for my channel for this year. Okay, obviously, I want to hit 100K, but it's not something that is in my head. I'm like, oh, I have to do this, I have to. Anytime it happens, it's fine by me. Do you get, I don't set goals because the journey, to be honest, is very, very important. Sometimes more important than the goals. I might set my eyes at, say, hitting 200k now right i'm trying to make videos i feel like that like will hit me that 200k blah 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 it's taking me away from every other thing i could have been doing that would be making me more money because i'm just focused on the wrong thing so i don't set goals so i just i'm happy with every milestone like if i hit 92k i'm happy 95k i'm happy like i'm happy with every single milestone so that's just what works for me and it has brought me this far one thing i know is that i'm consistent right by consistent i don't even mean in just producing content i mean in like putting in the work i'm not i'm never going to say oh i'm demotivated nah if anything people's success on this youtube motivates me to work harder because if i see this person in it ah, ah, that means i can't do it though let me even work harder like good for this person i'm so happy for you but you've just motivated me to even work harder because i've seen how much your own hard work is paying off and there are so many people I admire like that on this um, YouTube platform. It's really this Big Brother season. All the people living and breathing Big Brother, putting our content back to back, like Frankly Speaking, Austin Beta, Adese Space, um, Jisun Emelum. There are so many people I know. It, it's a lot. It consumes your life. So I use, like all these people I mentioned plus more, they are motivating me to even work harder, but I don't set goals. But yes, back to the original question, I have been able to achieve financial stability definitely from youtube um obviously there's still so many things i want i can't afford but for the most part i'm able to afford my life so i'm happy about that easiest way to maintain wealth investments i learned this from my parents my family members investments like there are properties right that my dad bought probably even my father-in-law is amazing with properties right there are properties that he bought say five hundred thousand when he bought it maybe 20 years ago you know this kind of thing you just buy make sure you have all the documentation forget about it once in a while check on it make sure that it, you know, people are not going mad okay but basically they bought a 500k 1m and now like 10 years 15 years maybe 20 years later i don't know how long they are selling those same properties for like 100m and more so it's like even if it's 50m even if it's 20 whatever it is trust me because if you had spent that one millionaire that year you will not have the 100 millionaire that you have today, okay? So property investment or investment generally is an easy way to maintain wealth. What's the great, oh, this is such a nice question. What is the greatest benefit you have experienced making a good amount of money as a wife? I'm just gonna say, um, I don't even want to say freedom, but basic, not freedom to live, but like 
freedom to spend money and how i want okay so once upon a time i think my husband and i will have to sit down and make this video once upon a time my husband used to fund my whole entire existence like my husband funded my whole life i'll breathe <clears throat> he'll fund i'll sneeze <clears throat> he'll fund it like everything i do my husband funded but then i started making money slowly and gradually and i'm here today so the one thing i enjoy is the fact that whatever i want i do i don't have to say babe can i have money for this ah, babe can i have i hate begging for money <laughs> if you know me you know i hate begging for money i hate begging people for anything i want to know i don't i don't want i don't need people clearly you guys get what i mean like it's not like i don't need people in my life but like i like being independent so i like that i have that financial independence to do whatever i want i can wake up today and say oh i feel like going to maldives for one week i'll be like babe I'm going to Maldives in two weeks, so come back and stay with your children. I buy my ticket and go. But if he was the one buying that ticket, say, eh, Maldine Megene, where is the money coming from? We have this to do. We have that to do. So, yeah, that's just one thing that, um, one great benefit of making my own money as a wife, as a person generally, actually. Like, I just like that. And there's some things I want to buy for my kids, some nonsense things that my husband will be like, what's this nonsense? I'll just buy it. Hey, leave it. It's my money that bought the nonsense. I beg. They need it. They want it. So they will get it. I just like that. I just like that freedom. Yeah. How many streams of income do you have? I'll just say two or three. Basically, Google AdSense, sponsorships, and investments. So three. This is a nice question. How do you control yourself from spending unnecessarily, like on designer shoes, clothes, and all? The thing is, right? The way I was brought up, <laughs> who bought you to one designer? That they can buy you the designer does not mean you have reached to use it, okay? So I didn't even grow up with that whole wanting designer thing because I know that, eh, now who go buy them? And even when I get money then, I had more important things. See, whenever we used to, like whenever, when we were younger, I'm going summer holiday, Primark was my place, okay? Till today, my children still wear Primark. I'm not one of those that really care about the brand kids are wearing or the brand I'm wearing as long as I look good. Primark was a thing. Even when we travel, then it's Primark we used to go shopping. Like, I always look for the cheapest option. And I know that I got this from the people I have around me. Parents, family members, uncles, aunties, like nobody in my family actually goes for the most expensive when it comes to anything. So we were raised like that. So I feel like it's affecting me today because I don't really give a shit about anything designer. I bought an, I bought a designer item for myself last year for my birthday. If I tell you that that slippers was under my inverter for like a month or two, packing dust, and then I wear my jalabia and I wear it. I bought a slipper like $800 or something like that. I wear it with my jalabia. I wear it to go and buy suya. I wear it for everything. I wear it to, to go swimming. Like, I don't really, it's not my thing. So that taught me a lesson, actually. I'm not a designer person. So I don't think I'll be buying more designer things. I'll just buy gadgets. If, if I'm so bored that I'm looking for something expensive to buy, I'll just buy a new camera. See, I know in my last video, I said that this camera will last me five years and everybody like, ah, hello, you. It's not possible. Yeah, whatever. Since I don't carry designer bags, this camera and my future cameras, they're my designers, okay? So I might get bored of this camera in six months or one year. I don't know. Let me just take that statement I made in the last video back. I'm not saying I'll use it for five years. I beg. I might get bored in a year or two. I want something else. And I'm going to get it. It's just like changing my phone every year or every two years. Like, if you can't, just do it. I beg. No pressure. But, yeah. <laughs> How do, oh, this is another nice question. You guys, I'm answering a lot of good questions. How do you contribute to your family? Does your husband take all the financial responsibilities? Oh, this is such a good question. So when it comes to financial responsibilities, eh, some people hate to hear this. So I know a lot of people hate to hear it. I'm sorry. You live your life the way you want. But like my family is somewhat traditional, right? I say somewhat because it's not completely. So we, we take some things out of the traditional way of things and take some things out of the work way of things, right? So when it comes to financial responsibilities in the house, it is on my husband 100%, like money for food, school fees, rent, anything the kids need, school supplies, school bags, um, you know, any basic need, like anything we're doing as a family or anything is on my husband, right? But now, because I make money, I choose to contribute to some things. I don't have to, but I choose to because... You know, my husband has been trying for us for years, whatever. So now that I can't, I'm just trying to be a good wife. You guys already know. <laughs> so when it comes to like um, taking the kids out, I don't collect the money from him. Buying even medicine and some small, small things, I don't collect the money from him. Um, sometimes even buying them toys and school bags. Like I've actually bought them school bag for the next school year because I bought it in Abuja. I haven't collected the money. I plan to, but maybe because of this video now, I won't. I'm supposed to collect money for school supplies this August, but maybe I just won't. Maybe I'll just let him pay the school fees since they even increase school fees and all that other thing. All, all those other things will be on me. So, 
yeah, I contribute ways I can. Say my husband, my husband pays me salary every month. I've said this before. He pays me a certain amount every month. The last time I made a video, I think I made a video about how my family spends around 400k a month, right? On like things around the house. So he pays me a certain amount every month. And, you know, things are going up in Nigeria. So the money goes up from time to time. Just small, small. He just increases because everything is becoming expensive. Usually, like recently, right? Things became so expensive. Dollar went up, blah, blah, blah. But I didn't ask him for an increase. I was like, let's save it for next year. So since then, I will use whatever money he gives me. And if I need to add money, I will not add my own money and make it up. Do you get? So that's another way I contribute. I try not to stress my husband for things I can easily do. I feel like it's just unfair. Like, <laughs> I, that's just me. Some people don't mind, but I feel like it's unfair. Um, yeah, I can do these things. They're my children too. So why can't I just do it? So that is how I contribute to my family. I've talked too much. Though. You guys, I shall not cut this video into two because... So many good questions. Um, yeah. How do you manage funds when your expenses is higher than your income? My sister, <laughs> you're going to be poor forever. Your expenses should never be high. If I, your expenses should be 50% of your income, if possible. 60% stops. If not, you can't save money. You can't manage. You'll be broke. There's no management there. How much do you spend monthly on enjoyment alone? This is from Tina. This question is funny. Um, <laughs> Can I, it depends on the month though. Some months on enjoyment has been just like 100k, depending. If I don't have any night out, if it's just normal eating out in, during the day, the afternoon, or just seeing one or two things on Instagram and buying, it can be as little as 100k. But if I have one or two night out with my girlfriend, definitely not. Definitely not. <laughs> For, by the time you buy bottles and do all those things. But then, I don't spend money I don't have. Okay? That's, that's just it. Oh, let me answer this question as the last question so she says what is the least amount you can accept for an influencing job um <laughs> i i get asha started get the vibe that some people are scared sometimes to ask influencers for their rate cards or if they can work for them for their budget the thing is right i'm not going to say a list amount but depending on the business I can actually work with your budget. I'll just tell you what your budget will give you. So if I normally charge, say, 5,000 Naira for a sponsored video, and tell me your budget is 2,000, I can tell you, okay, is that a sponsored video? This is how I'm going to do it, blah, blah, blah. And I'll just tell you what I can do for the money that you have. That being said, obviously, there is money I cannot go below, but I cannot say here. It's just a hard question to answer. You have to approach me first, ask me first, tell me what you want to advertise first then I will see what I can do, okay? So I think I'm just going to end this video here. I have talked a lot. I've been talking now for 40 minutes. I don't know how short I'll cut this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this content. I really loved filming it. The next one will be on relationship, okay? So go and follow me on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's always somewhere up here so that when I put up the flyer thing, you can drop your relationship questions and I'll be so happy to answer them. Again, don't forget, my wig is from Natural Girl Wig, and I have a code with them, Natural Girl Wig Nello, which NGW Nello is going to be on the screen. So go, oh, this looks like a school girl. <laughs> so go and check them out. Amazing quality, amazing everything, 100 over 100. If you're to own one wig, actually, and you're a black girl, I feel like it should be like kinky wig, to be honest. Something that looks like your hair. Something you can deceive people and say your hair. You know this wig, you can actually pull it back, right? Bring out your hair in front and just br like brush it in. Like it will actually look like your hair. It depends on how you want to use it, okay? Go and check out Natural Girl with all the links, all the details you need is going to be in my description box down below. So do check them out and I'll see you guys in my next one.